The young tough is whistling away while he works, maybe delivering newspapers or groceries. He might be plain tough, but his eyes, the way he stands, and his face show us a more childish innocence. For decades, Frank Duvenick's Whistling Boy, painted in 1872, has been one of my favorite pictures here at the Cincinnati Art Museum. I'm Aaron Betsky, the Art Museum's director, and I want to let you in on a little secret. Turns out, those pursed lips aren't letting out a tune, but smoke. In the painting, you don't see any stogie or cigarette, though his left hand looks like it should be holding something. This summer, you can see what's missing. Two other versions of the painting joined our whistling boy. The Cobbler's Apprentice from the Taft Museum of Art, and He Lives by His Wits from a private collection. In both paintings, the stogie and the smoke are clearly visible. These other Duvenek boys might be slightly older, but they have the same look and the same full red lips blowing out something my guess is that these young toughs are all blowing smoke in our eyes. These are portraits of kids taken from Cincinnati streets more than 100 years ago. Their sins and weaknesses, rough edges and confidence all come to life through the painter's equally rough and ready but oh so sophisticated brushstrokes. The painting is rough, the subject is rough, and you might be looking at something you might not want to see, but it's reality as only the art of a great painter can show it to us.